Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Da da. Da Yes. Look at it. The 60 to 60. With all of the bent and missing pins. Finally inserted into the BFG. Thanks to Chris Edwards restoration. Doing all of his amazing Dr. Chris things. Now. Full disclaimer. Is this going to work? We don't know. He tried his best to repair this chip. He made all efforts, amazing efforts. What do you think, lemons? Lemons? Lemming? A lemming? A lemming? Skyrim with a fork guy? What do you think? People who watch this channel, what do you think? Is this gonna work? Is the repair successful? Is this even the right 68060 chip for this card? I don't know. Let's find out. This computer will rule the world. Okay, so here we are with the Amiga 4000 case off. And as you can see, we have the stock 6840 in here. And if you look down here, you see this little chrome looking guy. That's the crystal that runs this. So. One of the things I will have to do with this new 68060, this BFG card, it uses the onboard motherboard crystals for timing. So I, when I pull the 68040 out, I need to remember to adjust the jumpers on the motherboard to use the internal timings, the internal uh, crystal settings. Otherwise, it won't work. So if I plug this whole thing in and run it and you don't see me you know, flip those jumpers and it doesn't work, well, that's why. So let's, uh, let's try and remember to do that. Q. So if you look right here really closely, you can see there's the internal external and currently it is set to external for the clock. And if you look to the right, you can see a crystal right there. So we need to switch this jumper to internal so that it uses that crystal you see to the right since the BFG does not provide its own crystals. All right, so we now have the BFG 68060 installed. The jumpers are set. Yes, there's no heat sink or cooling fan, but as many of you may know, or may not know who watches this channel, I do have a 68060 in this Amiga 1200 with no heat sink or cooling fan, and it does work quite fine. And the chip is right underneath the keyboard. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay here with this nice big open cavern. The question is, is it gonna work? Well, I guess this is the moment, right? It's plugged in, it's secure, the jumpers are set. I guess we just need to go ahead and uh, fire it up. Um, yeah, here we go. I can't see the LEDs. I don't know if we're getting a high low. Okay, so now we can at least see the power LED. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let us see if we get a high low. Hmm. Not seeing anything happen there. Also, quite interestingly, I'm also seeing the LED on the adapter here for the SD not doing anything as well as here. So there's multiple reasons why this might not work. It could be one that, well, first off, this might not be an RC5 6860. It has been said that the BFG card does not support RC1s. For those of you out there that are, you know, schooled on this stuff, you might be able to look at the mask here and figure out if this is an RC5 or not. So there it is. I'm going to try and hold as steady as I can. Um, I do believe there is another number over here, which unfortunately... I don't know if it's going to be readable here. If you do a still frame, I'll try and take a picture and then uh, throw it up on the screen here. But um, yeah, so that's one reason it might not work, that it's an RC1. The other reason that it might not work is, well, I mean, despite all of the amazing and extraordinary efforts that were made to repair the bent pins and the missing pins, it's just not enough. It doesn't... Uh, it doesn't quite do it. So, yeah. There, little friend. Good as new. Oh! That's, uh... 
I mean, I'm not smelling smoke, so that's a good thing. But that's where it's at. I mean, that's the, uh, look, this was always a gamble. We were never sure if this was going to be a for sure thing. It was always a gamble that this massively damaged 68060 chip was going to work. I, of course, could get another chip and put it in there. I don't have to get an expensive uh, you know, FPU version. I could just get a cheaper version to test it. Because there is a third thing I haven't mentioned. There's also the remote chance that the card itself, the BFG, uh, is not functioning, not properly uh, working. That is possible. That is possible. But um, I, it's I mean, based on how damaged the 68060 was, it's probably more likely it's not working. Okay, so just to be sure I hadn't blown up the 4000, I put the original 68040 back in, and yes, we are back up and running. No worries, she's still uh, she's still cooking here. So yep, unfortunately that does mean the 68060 chip that I have, I got this chip like two, three years ago, actually like three years ago, and it was always a question, right? It was always a question if this chip was gonna work. And we did try our best to bring it back to life, but unfortunately it does not look like it's gonna work out. So, I mean, look, it could be that it's not an RC5. I threw up that uh, still image there for you, so you can verify if it is or not, if any of you out there understand how to read that stuff. But uh, if it's an RC1, I've been told that it won't work at all on this card. Maybe in the future the card can be updated to work with RC1s. Uh, if this is in fact an RC5 and is not working, well, then we know that just it doesn't work, and that's, that's the way it goes. All right, thank you. I'm done with this video.